Big Boy Big Neighborhood, boy. ladies and gentlemen, all I got to do is say, what's up? What's up, up fool? <laughs> Felipe Esparza is in <laughs> the hood. What up? Man, welcome back to the neighborhood, man. Thanks for having me back. Man, man. no, it's our pleasure to yeah. have you back, bro. Now, you you haven't stopped since the last time we, we yeah, had man. a chance to see you, bro. Like, you you stay active out on that road, huh? or just you, you stay active through the game. Yeah, I stay active, man. I work, I work every week. I go to, like... I got sick the last week. I lost my voice. I couldn't go to my acting class. I was talking like this. Oh, but- <laughs> <laughs> like a retired gangster in a witness protection program. And, um, <laughs> so not, but we don't don't go too fast. Are you taking acting lessons? Yeah, I take acting Why? classes there, uh, to get better at enunciating. Oh, really though? Yeah, like no, nah, man. Don't, don't, man, don't F up the formula though. Yeah, you know true. what I'm saying? We don't need you coming in here with no British accent saying, <laughs> hello there, chaps, instead of what's up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. No. I take it to um to to learn how to read a script and, and yeah, yeah. find the beats in it. I heard and know that. When to come so in. are you are you talking about awesome, more man. acting for Felipe Esparza? Well, uh, if they want to book me, I'll take it. Right, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, it's always between me and the guy who gets it. So right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you hate that? You know what I'm saying? It's don't you hate that? Like, like oh, damn, man. I missed it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, as, soon as, as, as soon as I see Noel G walk in, I yeah, leave oh, the room. Yeah. <laughs> And then you're like, man, Noel got a ball head. They're like, oh, we can put a wig on him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but we do have a couple like the go tos like yeah, like, yeah. Emilio Rivera. It, yeah, it's even everything. on our side, it's like, damn, he got that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it got to a point where I was doing movies, and then you know, then cats are coming in, and, and, and they 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 got the go tos. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and not even in the same realm. But me and Kevin, we were in like uh, Soul Plane together. Mm-hmm. We did the MTV stuff together, and then Kevin just took off. Took off with a rock. And I'm here mm-hmm. interviewing you about what your takeoffs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All I do is just sit here and watch people live better than me. <laughs> wow. I know, man. The movies I do come out 10 years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they bring it out on your name. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Felipe it's Esparza. Like, like, uh, uh, Felipe, we're going to give you a little small role, but when you blow up in 10 years, we're going to promote yes. it like you, you have a big role. And, and you know what I get too, Felipe? I get the one day parts where people just re- get me for one day and one line so that way I could just talk about it yeah. on the air like man just put in and your character is I'll play big boy like <laughs> like you, you, you have that one scene with Eric Roberts and right. that's it and then he leaves too <laughs> now see I don't even know who Eric Roberts Eric, is I was um Eric Roberts is Julia Roberts', Roberts brother. brother I really know and he was like a, in Dark Knight he was uh he was a he was a star 80 he was nominated for an Academy Award but then he did like a bunch of drugs. Oh, really? Yeah. He was a celebrity, the celebrity oh, show. See. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, but he's see. a good actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You but they, you see but they, yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. I know who it is. Yeah. So yeah. they put him in everything. So this is the kind of I, I worked with him on one see? movie that didn't go nowhere. I mean, <laughs> and, I, and I was talking to Eric Roberts. He goes, oh, he goes. And he's a, he's a good actor. Like he was playing like a manager at a restaurant. He would never <laughs> seen the lines before. They just told him, "Robert, you're a you're a manager at a restaurant, and this the main actress. She's late." So he looked at me. I was playing like two lines. I was struggling with two lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah like hold on. Eric Robert had a whole monologue, <laughs> and um, he was he he tells the director, "Well, I'm gonna need somebody to write those lines for me down." So they wrote this big old billboard full of his lines, and. So he's a, he's a uh, manager, so he looks at me and goes, Felipe, give me a wet rag. So I give him a wet rag, so he, he start, they say, okay, go, and action. And then when Robert grabbed that um, wet rag and he starts wiping the table all pissed off and he starts getting more angry and he throws, that, he throws the rag back at me during the scene. He goes, where the F is she at? I gotta do her job now, and he made up that whole scene for himself before Damn. the line started. And you were like, you were like, I was like wow. Okay. You were like, I, I gotta go I do like, drugs. I, I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has a storyline for his little line, right. a background yeah, yeah. story. He already made up a whole biography about his line, about his character. I'm over here struggling with two lines, <laughs> and they're hey and me. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Me. And I, Cut. When, Felipe's wrapped. <laughs> and I was talking to him. He goes, "Wow." He goes, "How many movies are you working on?" After this movie, I got to go work on another television show, and I'm working on. So, so he he was doing five little small scenes wow. that day. Really though. Damn. All right, bad decisions tour. Yeah, Ooh. man. Now, bad why why bad decisions as the actual name for the tour? Have you made bad decisions? Oh man, my whole life been a bad decision. <laughs> really though. <laughs> Um, I done a lot of bad stuff, you know, like in Houston, Texas. I remember I was doing cocaine with this woman, 
And um, I love know, how you tell on yourself. Yes, yeah, so you know, and, and, and it just flow so out. Yeah. But, but, I, but I mentioned that she was a woman first. You yeah, know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and um, her and I, you know, you, you, I don't know, you know, you, you start doing cocaine with somebody, and then you know, I don't know, you just you just start doing burglaries and robberies. Yeah, wow. yeah, okay. you know? yeah. Stuff going yeah. On but this robberies. chick was it is a gateway down. drug, right? This yeah. chick yeah. was down, bro. Like. She said, I know where we get some more drugs. I said, I'll follow you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, and then when you in court, you're like, hey, it man, she the like, ringleader, man. Bonnie and Clyde and realized yeah. I was Bonnie. Right. <laughs> hey, man, were you living in Texas? No, or? I, I was there for one night. Damn. <laughs> oh, done. So much happened. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you're going to cocaine frenzy, <laughs> burglarizing houses. And you was only there for one well, night. I got to keep in mind, tell the truth, that uh, we're not really burglarizing like like houses, like oh, he just we're gonna break into the house. Yeah. These were houses that she knew, like oh, my grandma lives <laughs> oh, here. Wow. We could rob her. She's oh, yeah. sleeping. Yeah, that makes it better. You know, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. It's, it's my stepfather. You know, he molested me. I never liked him. So, so you know, she was using she was using my feelings against her. Like this is my this is my grandfather. He molested me. <gasps> yeah. He molested my lady. Yeah. Let's yeah, go yeah. rob him. And what's your name again? What's your name again? <laughs> so. Now, when was the last time you you partied? Like, how how long has it been where you just like, man, I don't even do that anymore, big. Oh man, probably like 2011. 2011. Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Was there a final? And no pun intended. Was there a final straw? Or was you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It's probably because I ran out of drugs. Yeah, yeah, that can make you stop. <laughs> My lady was gonna. She was threatening to leave me. That always works Aww. for a little while. Right? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you get back in the house and you're back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, like I don't I'm know why I left away. you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, man. Drug addicts know, man. We're fiends. We know how how to work people. You know, we promise we're gonna go good. But three days later, you know, we're eating soup. We're getting better. We're watching Netflix again. And then she goes back to work, and we go back to the hood. Yeah. 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 Hey, wow. man. How hard That's is crazy. it to be famous, be a comedian? People love you and not do drugs it's tough man like i gotta go to, i gotta i gotta lie to people and tell them yeah man give me your number man i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna meet you at the after party yeah i'm yeah. gonna be there then i'm telling this person yeah i'm gonna be there at the end of the night man i'm back in my room yeah man with my louis oh yeah. hello hey. yeah hello you ain't talking about louis vuitton either yeah i'm yeah. myself man and people can't believe it that i actually go all the way home because you know i get in trouble if i hang out with people i remember uh, same place, Houston, Texas. You know how to stay. Somebody, <laughs> First off, homie, you got to stay out of Texas. I know, man. Holmes yeah. Road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went so, to an after party at two. That started at eleven o'clock in the morning and ended at two in the morning. Damn. Right. And then after 11, that, wait, eleven in the morning. No, eleven at, eleven at night. Okay, oh. to two to two thirty in the morning. All right, two thirty a.m. or two thirty p.m. A.m. Okay, all but right. But that one ended at two thirty, and then like, and everybody then, knew where to go after. We went to another house. Oh, house party no. that one started at 2 30 ended at 11 in the morning oh Good no Lord. That's a lot. and it was crazy bro it was crazy like the bartender she was like this like beautiful looking bald black woman mm. you know probably a, she was lesbian go ahead and she had, <laughs> he, he she thought was, about he's like it. probably no she's lesbian she was wearing a tank top with no bra and nobody was there, and she was sagging bro at man she was she was straight up said um how can i help you man what would you want and I go, well i want a six pack of beer she gave me a six pack of beer and i want drugs she goes, we got everything you need, man. And then she, I called Coke? And she goes, yeah. And she brought a guy over, and he gave me a little bump. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> wow. how, that's how they trick you, though, you know? That's how oh, they yeah, trick yeah, you. yeah. They, they, they give you that good in. bump. Yeah. <laughs> they give you that good bump. The bump that, like, that got you speaking like um, like you like you have a puppet next to you. Like yeah, you have yeah. a troiloquist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Like, you, like you, you, you're talking hey, to your cypher, man. Yeah. We're about to get caught. When they hit you with things. It was good, man. It was like, Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'll probably sell my body for this. Yeah, you know? oh my God. So it was good. But the next one was just whack. Yeah. <laughs> Chalk, homie. Yeah, because they got you now. It was, though, homie, it was whack. And I remember one time, that same, that same night, I was doing um, I was doing cocaine off a woman's breast. <laughs> and it wasn't cocaine, yeah. man. It was her deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This stuff getting real hard. Oh, this like, oh this, my God. Who cut like, this? Man, what, you, you buying drugs from Paisas? Yeah. <laughs> like, it smells nice, though. What they cut it with? Fabuloso? Hey. Like, what is this? That's like the so number fabuloso. one thing for people who do coke. Like to all, like the, the mecca is to like do it off a girl's breast or a girl's butt. Like My cousin yeah. was like that in Vegas one time. He's like, my mission is this time to just do it off a girl's breast. And really? We accomplished it one time. I would have to do it on a girl with smaller boobs to get more coke no, on it. They accomplished it one time. It's not like you said we accomplished it. They accomplished it one time. I'm going to roll this back. 
<laughs> it almost sounded like he said, we accomplished yeah. it. They accomplished it. Go ahead now. That's why when Felipe came in, he said, what's up, fool? What's up, <laughs> what's up fool? <laughs> Y'all heard it, man. Felipe Esparza hey, is yeah. in the He's neighborhood, in man. Felipe, if you weren't doing comedy and you weren't a successful comedian, what do you think you would be doing right now? I'll be robbing your guests after your, your show downstairs. <laughs> okay. No. All right. I've had that happen before. Just kept 100. That's, no, no. But let me tell you, man, I've had guests. I had a guest that was on air with me one time. And I was admiring his watch. We're texting and, tonight. And, yeah. And they, they robbed him on the way out. Any rapper yeah. with cotton candy, I'll rob him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody, so, any rapper with cotton candy hair, I will rob. Do you? Th- ah, he said we cotton see, we candy see. hair. Ah. Hello, we know who you're hey man, about. has there been a time when, when in, in in comedy where you were just thinking like, man, like, do you go into dark places in comedy? Because they yeah, see some of the I, best I go to comedians. Dark places now. Yeah. Before I would never go this dark, but now I'll go, I go like like I was afraid like maybe my mom would take it personal. But you mm-hmm. you met my mom. Yeah, she's so nice. Go she was now. cool with it, you know. So now I do more stuff about my mom, like, like I, I put her in a spot, you know, where it's sad mm-hmm. and like, but it's still funny, right? Mm-hmm. And I and I talk about like a Does lot of stuff. Does it take a little bit of time for you to get yeah, there? Yeah, it still hurts at yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. the end of the night, it still hurts. Like I, I was dealing with it for a long time. Like, should I talk about this? Nah, it's funny. Should I talk about it? Yeah, it's funny. But it's kind of truth, kind of hurtful. But I do talk about it. But do you feel like your audience gravitates to you even more? Yeah. So? Be- because we walking in with our problems too, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and, and and not to say, and I always say me too, and not because of the movement, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but I always say like, there's times when you in the audience, you be like, damn, me too, you know what I'm saying, yeah. damn, I went through that as well, damn, I went through that too, yeah, man. Like I have a joke where I say that growing up, I had an uncle that was gay, you know, very homosexual. No one knew mm-hmm. but me. Uh oh. But everybody have their own idea of what happened. Yeah, with yeah, of, of what that mean yeah. when you yeah. say "but me." Like, go, ooh, and half of the crowd laughing. Then they got to no, 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 nothing happened between us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would deal find his find his porn. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, wow, Amen. my uncle likes guys with mustaches. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, likes to, he likes to get massages. Hey, but when you said it, I too was like, Damn. Yeah. yeah. But me then too, I say that, then I switch it. And I say, no, no, no. He taught me stuff about. He taught me things that my dad could never teach me because my dad didn't have like the like the balls or the nuts to talking about it, you know. He, <laughs> yeah. he, he didn't have, he taught me things my dad couldn't teach me, like liking myself, yes, appreciating yeah. myself, Go here now. going for my what I really want. Yeah. And if I don't like it, we could always dance. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, man, I, I was wondering what was coming next. But how many kids? Is it one? How many kids do you, ha- like, kids do you have? Well, I have like around three, cri- three kids. Okay, three kids. And I have a stepson, you know, All blonde right. hair, blue eyes. All Everything right. I wanted in a son. Yes. <laughs> I'm raising my own Aryan army. Yes. Oh my God. Now, how are you with your kids? What, what's their ages? They're like, um, they're pretty old, man. I had them when I was 17. So one of them is like um, 29, I think. Mm, damn. Yeah, I was young, man, when I had my kids, man. My, my girlfriend told me she was pregnant in high school, man. I'll never forget oh, the wow. day she told me she was pregnant. It was pizza day on Wednesday. Yeah, you remember that, though? <laughs> pizza day on right. Wednesday. Yeah. I had to send her a note. Are you pregnant? Yes, no, maybe. Check it's the right. box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we were little, man. Hey, man, did life... Nobody helped us. Yeah, did life seem like at 17, bro, like I had my first kid... At, in my thirties, you know what I'm saying. Wow, you so, started late, bro. Yeah, well, nobody What's let wrong me with hit, you? nobody let me have sex with. Him, you know what I mean. <laughs> but but I would think even then I was like, damn, I'm having a kid. I couldn't imagine at 17 being in charge of another human being. I know, man. I, I remember when I, she, she told me she was pregnant. I was laying in bed like butters in that uh, pimp comer, pimp one <laughs> episode. I gotta make money. Butters, yeah, I got man. things to butters. do. I don't know what to do, man. But look, I, I didn't know what to do. Like. That's the problem, you know, when a young kid, you know, in, in um in uh any 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 household gets someone pregnant or she becomes pregnant, you know, instead of dealing with the problem, you deal about like how it's gonna look like how it's gonna look look at me. Mm-hmm. You know, how it's gonna look like at me. I'm a grown woman, my daughter, I'm gonna be a grandmother now. Yeah. Instead yeah, of yeah. just, you know, okay, honey, listen, man, I know you're gonna have that baby, but we're gonna kill it, you know. No, gonna, no, 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 or whatever. <laughs> we're gonna have an abortion. Whatever. You know, whatever situation you have. Or or, or, or the best thing to do, you know what? Look, honey, I know you know you, you ain't the first, you ain't the last. You, you got pregnant, but we're going to help you out, you know? Yeah. I'm going to bring in my aunt. She's going to come and take care of the baby. You're going to stay in school. You're going to mm-hmm. graduate school. Did we're going to take have care that? of the baby. Y'all didn't have Hell that? no. Hell no. My mom told me I never want to see you again. My mom told me you messed mm-hmm. up. You ruined your life. I wish I was smarter to tell my mom, no, lady, you ruined your life. You're a grandma 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I told you. You're going to babysit for free, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Like, no, no more club nights for you. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? You it's are not over. hanging out with Hell MC no, Poncho and Chamarita tonight. Ah! You know what I'm saying? Y'all stick around your radio, You're not going to eat those Steven Steakhouse no more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all still Chamarita. What up, Poncho? Y'all stick around your radio, man. Two Cadillac. L.A. this weekend, man. Now, Friday night, it is definitely going down, man. That one's completely sold out, so we didn't even have to talk about that one. Yeah, those tickets are available if you don't mind if you don't mind standing. So if you're like over 42 years old, I want those tickets were not for you, man. Okay, all right, all right. And uh, if you don't have, Saturday if you night, have high there's heels, a couple standing. For you. And you know what's crazy about this, man? When I looked at your dates, March 23rd and March 24th, I have a comedy show as well at the Bray Improv. At the Bray Improv. And I was like, oh, okay, now I see why. <laughs> why what? Yeah, I just see why. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. George Lopez promoted your show, though. Yeah, because I needed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need you to promote it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, Fluffy. Can we get a retweet? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Come on, good, Fluffy. Good Lord. Can we get man. one retweet, Angela hey, Johnson? Is there any... Yeah, exactly. Tim, <laughs> Come Tim on, Russell Haddish, Peters. Please. Hey, man, is, is there Russell any Peters. beef? Is there any comedy beef? Nah. Not between Latinos, like... Like every time we see each other, even though we haven't seen each other in a long time, it's always like a big old hug. Right. Mm-hmm. We give a big hug for each other. So there's no comedy beef where you're like, man, I'm not doing a show with him. Or, oh, nah. Or somebody stole your joke, you you don't hold nothing in. Nah. Okay, all right. I'll, if somebody steals my joke, man, I hope he, he, he can make that joke into a 20 minute bit. I heard and that. And I appreciate it. You know, I heard, like yeah, you, if you're going to steal from like me. Like you yeah. took Use a seed it. and you grew a new tree. Go ahead now. You know what I mean? That's early true. on, did you, what was your comedy like early on before it was dead you tapped pan. in? It was deadpan. Like, I would go up on stage real shy. I was scared. And, I, and, and nobody would say anything. Like, Felipe Esparza, ladies and gentlemen. And I, and I would stay quiet on stage. Nobody would say, just look at me. Look at this fat fool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, by quiet, then I'd just say, what? When you go to work, do you start right away? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe warm, warm up. A lot of comedians talk about how they used to be, how they used to be poor, how they grew up poor. I'm not gonna lie to you, people. I'm still poor. <laughs> Today I was shopping, lifting. Shop yeah, lifting. hello. <laughs> My dad, he used to walk around the whole neighborhood and collect furniture and bring it home like MacGyver with duct tape. One Dude. time he brought a television home. I said, damn, that TV has 500 channels. Oh, yeah. When I got older, it didn't have 500 channels. It was a knob from the oven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. My favorite channel was 300 degrees. <laughs> I, I don't like paying for dry cleaning, so I donate my clothes to the Salvation Army and the Goodwill, and two weeks later after they wash it, I buy it all back. <laughs> Hell, that's good for early on. That's really <laughs> good. Good Lord have met, mercy, man. I met this woman last night. She said, I'll sleep over your house, but we can't have no sex. I said, all right, tomorrow morning we'll have breakfast. You can't eat no food. Right, exactly. <laughs> hey, man, did you ever, did, they say every that. comedian has to bomb. I bomb hard, bro. Did, did it affect you? hard, bro. Hell yeah. Really, though? It made me want to quit, made me want to cry. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, there's no quit, but there's crybaby in me, though. I ain't going to quit. Thing, the, the worst bomb a comedian can have is when you roll to that show with everybody. Like, everybody that's in that show is in your car. Yeah. Oh. Like, the headliner, the feature, the, the opener, the guy selling merch, the guy that's hanging out. <laughs> And then you're gonna be in the same car on the way home. On the way home, like, and, 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 he, and, then you, and then you be wanting to come home since the show ended. But these fools hung out to the end. <laughs> hung out to the end. Went to eat Denny's after, and they're gonna see the same crowd at Denny's. Oh man! Oh, you killed it, man! Oh man! You're gonna be all right, homie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ain't no thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you just gonna hang out with these guys, man. Write some better jokes. Yeah. Hey, man. T.K. Kirkley one time. At, I know at, T.K. At, that's yeah, my man. guy. T to the motherfucker. Yeah. Kirk. And why? Yeah, yeah, yeah so well, I, I did chocolate Sunday one time, and it was like my first time, and I bombed. I don't think I, I yeah, yeah, I bombed. Right, right, I bombed yeah. hard, and then, and then Antiki came up to me. He like gave me a hug, but it was making me. He was trying to make me laugh too at the same time. And he goes, "Man, you know what happened up there?" And it goes, "I bombed." Nah, you didn't bomb. What happened? You were up there too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you got to know how to get off. Yeah, yeah. got to leave him wanting yeah. more. If you if, if you were killing at five, and you know you you, you know you can't sustain this killing to fifteen. Get off now. Did that does that help? Yeah, but but you but, saw but I, it too. I, but I have to redeem myself, you know, because everybody was talking about it, you know all the other black comics were talking about it. Oh, Felipe bomb used the kills. He bombs. So I have to go look at my boy. Yo, Scruncho. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, Scruncho? yeah. Hell yeah, no Scruncho. Scruncho, man, the 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 king of. Uh, the king of Long Beach, so I had to go to his room 
Because his blood, his room is all urban. Yeah, like hell all yeah. urban. Like they sell steaks in between shows. Right, yeah, chicken like, wings. There's, there's, there's a 50 50 during the show, man. There's strippers. You know, yes, man. Them. They're selling sandals, bro. You, a, that, that, <laughs> you don't know scrunchies, man. His scrunchies shows starts off at the comedy show. Next thing you know, man. As you know, it's like a, there's models going off, showing other clothes. Scrunch was hell of a though, too, man. And he been putting it in, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, I said, if, if I kill in his room, it'll spread long enough for that they won't remember I bombed on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Monday, his Monday show at the casino, killed, and then I, that, that was that was enough. Okay, that yeah. Was, so uh, redemption. I had nice. to redeem myself, There it man. is. Felipe Esparza is in the neighborhood. Now, Felipe Esparza, what I have here, man, the emojis I have, Fire mm-hmm. and poop. Poop. Fire and poop. No. He's on Mac. He's he, he picking it. He's not even letting me. <laughs> I'll, no, take I'll, I'll, you. I'll take the ice cream. No. Chocolate <laughs> ice cream. I'm going to hand Chocolate you, I'm gonna hand you both of these. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hand you both of them. Fire yeah. and poop. All righty. And what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to hold up some comedians. As I hold up these comedians, <laughs> you got to let me know if that comedian is fire or or poop. All right. Alrighty? And, <laughs> and, yeah, and, I, and I, want you, I want you to keep it real with me. All righty? Fire or poop. poop. All righty? <laughs> the first one we'll hold up is... D-Ray Davis. D-Ray Davis. Yeah, he's fire, man. Fire or this, poop. So This guy works Thursday through Monday. No one else funny. does that. And he's that. got like right, right, Like this guy, <laughs> this guy, like if he was doing like... Um, if he was doing a show somewhere, it would probably be empty right now at the Noble. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. Because he work hard. This kid, could, this kid could sell out Thursday through Monday. Nobody wow. does Monday. Like, He's like, so damn funny. The, he didn't just sell the weekend. People, there was enough people over to come on Monday night. Damn. <laughs> damn. I need to get him over mine then. All righty now. All righty. Fire or poop? Let's go. Michael Blackson. Oh, man. He's fire, man. He's the king of Instagram. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. he is, man. <laughs> this guy has a lot of balls, man. Yeah, he does. He yeah. took Kevin, Kevin Hart's wife to open for him. Yeah. <laughs> man. So Michael Blackson is definitely fire. Fire or poop? Amy Schumer. Oh, man. She's poop, man. Oh! oh! Yeah, why? Man, why? It if Dad, you be gave us a female. Go ahead now. Why is she? Well, poop? actually, you know, she as a as an actress, you know, comedy actress. Those movies are kind of poop to me, but as a comedian, you know, what she did for comedy is, is fire because there, there was a there was a guy that used to book the, the the Letterman show, and she and she has said something really bad about Amy Schumer and about female comics, and then she said that well, this guy never books female comics. So how did they know? So he he got she got that guy fired from Letterman. All right, and and, um, and then when he got fired, I made a joke about it. I thought he got fired for only booking uh, one Latino every decade. Wow! Because every decade of Letterman, he only booked one Latino. Wow! That's the crazy. first year was Chris Fonseca. That was in nineteen ninety something. In the two thousands, he booked Greg Giraldo, and then in, in, in the other one, he booked Cristela Alonso. Wow! So, damn! Damn! Cristela. I never All knew right. that. I wish I had I his face. Her. I'll hold it up. Yeah. All righty now. <laughs> Fire or poop? Gabriel Iglesias. Gabriel, the fluffy one. He's fire, man. That fire. guy sells out the world, man. Yeah, man. That's my partner right there. Hell yeah, man. Also. He All got right. to keep his bugs in his, in his, in his chihuahua, so that's good. Go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you mean? He travels with them everywhere. <laughs> Hell yeah, he has to, bro. His girlfriend was trying to take him away. Wait. Oh. <laughs> what? Well, that's another story. Dogs the dogs, the time the he traveled yeah. with his dog. He traveled with, they're on stage, bro. They're part of the act. Just to make sure. <laughs> they're a tax write off now. You can't take that money. Monique. Monique, man. Poop she's fire, fire, man. She's fire, man. Go ahead now. She's fire, man. You know what? I understand her complaints on Netflix. You know, whatever they offered me was way smaller than her. I would have took her money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. But you know you, you can't take it, away that HBO. you can't take away that she took an Oscar. You know she had the Oscar. Yeah, right. for pressure. man. All righty now, Joe Coy. Oh, that guy's poop, man. Ooh, Whoa, that, that was, was that guy is poop. He's a poop pooper. Why? Really? And, he, and he knows why. You can ask him next time he comes here. But we don't man. know. Man, that guy. He tried to get my wife fired at the Laugh Factory because <gasps> we have beef. You wow. know, you know when you have beef with yeah. somebody, yeah. and that like, you and I have beef, but big boy, it's between yeah. me and you, and in between your family. I would never go after your family members yeah. to try to get to you. Just, he tried to get my my wife fired at the Laugh Factory. A single mom, bro, because him and I have beef. Damn. We got beef no more, but just to let you know, he is poop. Poop. All righty, man. Hey, man. Poop. Let's go with That's Marlon Wayans. Oh, man. He, he, fire. fire or poop? He's fired, but that beard is poop. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we should have used a different one. 
<laughs> Marlon, we sorry Don't about that. That beard looked like, oh. look like a forest fire, bro. <laughs> All right. Carlos Mencia. He's fire, fire man. Poop. You know, you can't take away anything he did that from that guy, even though um, Joe Rogan caught him. Called him out. And yeah, because Joe would say he was a, a joke stealer. And yeah. I know Joe was hard on him. But it, under, you got to understand like, where Carlos Mencia is coming from, man. Like It's not his fault that he said that he was Mexican and he had to change his name to Carlos Mencia. As a young comedian, you want to make it in business. You know, I'm pretty sure your real name is not Big Boy. Right, right, you right. Know? And, um, yeah. But he started off with a laugh at the comedy store, Mitzi Shore. She helped careers like Richard Pryor, Howie Mandel, Paul Rodriguez. So Paul Rodriguez started off as Pablo Rodriguez, and they mm. told him, say, no, 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 there's already a Pablo, say Paul. So when Carlos Kimi- Carlo Mencia came around, his name was Ned Holden. Yeah, How Ned Holden. Get- mm. Ain't no Ned Flanders around here. <laughs> so Did she you know little- that? So no. she told him, no, 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 no. She I said, no, 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 Carlos, you're going to be Carlos Mencia. And he just changed the name. It's just that, you know, it's wow. good for the career and... And you know what? Say what you want about that guy. You know, he did everything. He had three HBO specials, mm-hmm. Tonight Show, television show. Mm-hmm. Him and Chappelle, every, for like five years straight, will get a development deal. Like, okay, I would just say just ballpark, $200,000, and then their shows never got picked up. Right. So these guys made a career of not working. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that's why I got, I got one year, last year I got a development deal, and they, didn't give me, they gave me the money. And it didn't work, so hopefully, you know, I could I could, I could do this for the next five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be pilot and I, boy and, and I don't re- get picked up. And I have a retirement fund of shows that never got picked up. Tiffany wow. Haddish. Oh, man, she's fire, fire man. We have, we have the same so mode. Fire. You go ahead. Hello. 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 Twins. Twins. Oh, Twinsies, my God, that's man. The last of the mole he we, we used to have, she was, she was on my podcast, and I when um two years ago, she opened up for me at the Irvine Improv. Killed yeah, it. And we were in the same season at last comedy standing. Man. And, um, awesome. and believe it or not, her and Little Rail are the ones that blew up. Damn. I they, I watched. You didn't? Yeah. Oh, I ain't in movies. Right, 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 I'm right. I'm not crying be. in front of Oprah. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but well, another thing you should know about her is that when she was, you know, she's a real bad story, but mm-hmm. when she was living with her um her mother, you know, when her mom got into a car accident, there was a serial killer in her neighborhood. The Sleeper Killer. Yeah, man. And um, there's a documentary on the Sleeper Killer on HBO. That was killing uh-huh. women for and like years. For years, bro. He killed a lot. He killed a lot of women. And Tiffany, um, she she's the one of the people that helped HBO do that special. Damn, Damn. Man. It, it all happened in so her neighborhood. She used to do my comedy show Damn. as yeah. well, man. Early on, nobody really in the audience written, and she'd come and kill for me, man. She'd so take out that cup out of her bra. She's dope. <laughs> take man. her hair out. <laughs> George <laughs> Lopez, fire. Oh, hold on, hold on, right now, right now. <laughs> Fire, man. Fire. Is it because he takes you to the Dodger games? And yeah, that's true, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Broadcast? Oh, man. Remember hey, the man. video we hey, showed us? So yeah, funny. say it again, Natalia. <laughs> you, you were in the back of the broadcast after one of the Dodger games just like walking around. Yeah, yeah man. When we were on our way, <laughs> yeah, funny, and, and dude, George was like, just look at him. He just walking through the back <laughs> of the live broadcast. I was annihilated, man. <laughs> You're trying to see yeah, back. <laughs> I was lost. Yeah, as you oh should have been. I I'm a freaked out Fred Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> man, you know, as you should. Like, after the game, like, I never hang out after the game with nobody. I go home. I go to the sparking lot at Legion Park. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, but, yeah. Hell yeah. but George, like, he's famous. You know, he knows everybody. Like, we went to go hang out with the umpires. Yeah, man. <laughs> but it was funny, like, I threw the restroom, and when I went in, inside the umpire's bathroom, they were all in the shower, bro. Oh, so okay. I saw a bunch of bats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, bro, <laughs> like, I want to like, take that thing out of my mind, man. But and, like, these are the umpires that ruined my game, you know? Big Boy's Big Neighborhood, boy. Felipe Esparza, definitely want to thank you for yeah, coming into the neighborhood, you. man. Don't, don't forget Bad Ooh, Decisions Ooh. Tour is going down. And thank yep. you for coming into the neighborhood and thank always having, having fun man. with it, man. It's our pleasure, bro. And you got to come on back, too. Hell yeah, man. You know, it's funny, man. I have a stepson, blonde hair and blue eyes. I was trying to get him to drink all the chata, you know? Hey. He didn't <laughs> want to drink so it. He goes, good. What does it taste like? And I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm Mexican. I don't know what it tastes like. To me, it always, it always tastes like horchata. <laughs> man, yeah. Like cinnamon uh-huh. toast crunch. Yeah, it is, man. Cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Yeah, like melt it down. Like just yeah. do just yeah. the milk. Like after you finish your bowl of cereal. What it is. Show, Hell yeah, show man. You the right. more sand, the better. As it should be. <laughs> Felipe Esparza in the neighborhood. Big boy. What's up, boo?